Greeting ladies and gentlemen. My name is Asif Kabani. I'm an MBA and today I'm sharing a book that I recently read. It's the book is called The Code Book, The Secret History of Codes and Code Breaking by a good friend, Simon Cheng. Uh, he's a very interesting top uh, speaker and a PhD professor. Uh, I met him in 2016. He gave me this book, but suddenly I got the chance to read it this year which is 2023 they signed the book for me as well i briefly read it in 2016 but finally i read the book in 2023 because uh, as we say the cyber threat has not ended it is uh, increased uh, day by day so you see this machine in his background it is called the enigma which was used in world war one and two to cipher and code and decodes all this one so Simon has been lucky, he has collected one of these uh, machines, this is his personal possessions and everyone was most interested in having a picture with this uh, unique machine which is not available, either it's in the museum or someplace else. But let me go uh, explain you the book and I hope you will like this book and I will try to share the link of this book uh, so you can buy it uh, available from Amazon and other places. So the book starts... Uh, with a very nice story after the introduction the introductions is very interesting in this book but uh, the story of the cipher of queen mary of scotland uh, who was beheaded by her cousin elizabeth it's a very unique story you will like it but it's a long story so it takes about 40 44 pages to read and then the story also continues uh, from page 45 but uh, you will understand how the changes were happening in the time in the Europe and and uh, the United Kingdom and how the Europe was shaping and how the kings and queens were ruling and how uh, how the secrecy was managed and then how you will learn in the third part that the mechanisms of the secrecy is very important and then we have these machines that were developed with a lot of algorithms so how to crack the enigma was one of the biggest challenges for the scientists uh, for the people who are in this field and people who had resources but the other thing that the problem that comes into this whole scenario was the language barrier because initially when it was a uh, united kingdom it was more english but then in europe there are many many languages that are spoken so there are a lot of language barriers and that these ciphers have to address and these people then the books move to a very nice uh, story about uh, alice and bob school's public you will like this one, which is a very interesting part. And then in the seventh, he discussed about the pretty good uh, privacy, which is also good. And finally, now we have the computing power to code and decode messages. So it's a quantum leap into the future. He talks about the future, how things has moved. Because he's a PhD, he has made a lot of documentaries, he speaks a lot. So all the cipher challenges he discusses. The appendix are very good. You will like it. Uh, he has uh, given a lot of nice glossary, acknowledgement, and further readings. And also nice credit to this book. Uh, all the credit of this book goes to the author because he's the author. I'm just doing the review of the book. And he's a nice gentleman. So uh, you can contact him if you'd like to learn more about his work and research, as he mentioned in the book as well, that if someone's doing some research, you may like to contact the publisher or the author on this book. I have shared some pictures for you here that how is the Enigma machine look like because when he was in the presentation, he showed us the Enigma machines. And this is how it looks like. But this machine was captured from the German by the British. So you can see the machine. He operated the machine and he showed how it works. I have put the Wikipedia link for you here the book of the code and Simon as I said is a PhD in physics and he from the University of Cambridge he was a former BBC producer as well and he has produced and directed an award-winning documentary as well for BAFTA he lives in London you can follow him on his website and uh, please note that as I said all the copyright material is basically of the author or the publisher so please respect that and if you wish like to speak to me feel free to subscribe this channel click on the notification bell and feel free to connect to me on the LinkedIn and share this video with your friends and colleagues who are interested in the subject. Thank you very much.